Okay. Sprite bottle cap craft. I've been... I don't know what I just said. Did I say Sprite bottle cap craft? I don't know. But anyway, get your string of choice, which I was using parts of the piece of a hoodie string and a, uh, a shirt from when I was, uh, when I was doing shirts. I'm not doing shirts anymore. Anyway, I measured the string to the sh original string that was in there. You don't have to do that. You can make yours as long or as short as you want to. You don't have to make it the size of that. And then I, for some reason, was playing with that string. And then I moved all my stuff out of the way and started working on the next part, which was covering my bottle cap. I think I did this one differently because I don't think I liked the way I did it the first time. I can't remember. It was so long ago and I was supposed to make this video so long ago. But either way, I just bunched up the fabric and kind of trying to make sure I grab all the pieces and that I got all of it before I went ahead and tied the string that came off of it from around, I mean around it. And that's one way you could do it. I think I did that the last time. And I don't know. It doesn't, it lays on the wall if you cut it down low and glue it. But it doesn't, it just bothered me. So I wasn't doing it this way. I was just using it as a method to cut it this time. So I cut this. And, um... See, I got my headset on and these people are distracting me. I cut this and that took a good minute. But yeah, you really want to make sure you have all the parts because when you cut it, it won't be, you know, all together. You could just leave it like that for real, for real. And tie it a second time and use a better string too. But I didn't do that because it wasn't going to lay flat. And I wanted it to lay extremely flat. So I took that off. And I just cut it down a little bit lower. And I just got my trusty glue gun and glued it to the actual inside of the bottle cap because it was that didn't work I don't know those those glue guns they are like for a little bit of use like they came from Dollar Tree so yeah but they're like for a little bit of use and sometimes they do this pop thing like where they could yeah they're not they're different I, I wouldn't recommend them because of safety reasons of the popping sound and I mean all the glue guns kind of do that after a while they do that little pop sometimes they shut down the uh the power and that's that's crazy but um yeah I just glued it down and all around I kept going around and around and around and around and then I cut me out a circle to put on the top of the back of it that's not for stability or anything. I don't know why I was doing that. I just... You don't have to do that. I was just doing extra. You don't have to do any of this, really. Just the idea. But, uh... Yeah, I felt for my holes. Poked my holes. That way I could run my string into the hole. Through the fabric. Becky walking around. Okay. So yeah, once I did that, I tucked it back into the fabric and just glued it down so the string didn't come off. Because it definitely can't hold up on the wall if the string is not secure. It'll break. Even though it's pretty light, you, you still need something to hold it. Or you could just tie the string. That might be easier, too. But I glued it down for extra stability. Yeah, 
glue the other side and yeah once I was done that I was able to sit it lay it out you can see I glued the string to it and using the hoodie string is funny because it kind of stretches and sometimes doesn't go back so I don't know maybe you might need a stiffer string but yeah I used my Cricut printed out everything but then I realized that that little uh, lemon was like green and yellow so I had to cut it by hand little doggy nose I had to cut it by hand so that way I could get the uh, lemon to be small and then I could add the green I'm tired I'm waiting for my shift to be over so I could be done working Yeah, this video, I really should have put it out sooner because this was back when I had more time and I wasn't working this job over here. But yeah, enough about that. I printed everything out of the Cricut and I was looking for where the words were because sometimes when you do the printing on a Cricut, you cannot see that stuff. That... That stuff is like invisible. But yeah, once I found it, I was able to weed it. And I'm not going to sit here through this entire thing. Okay, so I'm just going to fast forward this. Once I finish cutting it out, hmm, I had to uh, place it and then. Um, you know, see how I want it to be. Get my placing down. See how I want all of that to turn out. I ironed those on off camera, and it's been such a long time. I don't even know if I have the footage of putting it on there, but clearly I used a little iron that I'm using right here to get it on. Yeah, doing all that ironing on it. Making sure it stays. I usually press over it after I remove the plastic a little bit because it kind of just gives it a really good pressing. No, I don't recommend re recommend <laughs> playing too many video games. I don't recommend that for everybody because some people uh, might burn it up. But you could you can test it, test it out, and getting the temperature right is. It's interesting. Like, that's a little iron, so it's not, like, super, super hot, and it's going to burn up the lettering. But, yeah. Yeah, I think it's, uh... I, I, I just heat it up. I don't know what I'm talking about. And that's it. I mean, there's not much else I can, uh, tell you. Clean up your mess afterwards. <laughs> and hang it on the wall, call it a day. The only thing I didn't like about the shirt material, though, is like in that one picture, you could tell you could kind of see the metal through. So make sure you use thick enough fabric. But there's my my beauties. <laughs>